Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl and this is Your Journey Yoga. Appreciate you being here so very, very much. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe if you're not already. And I hope you'll just come back time and time again. There is a little bell icon also if you want to punch that you can um, get an update on it whenever there is a new video available so hopefully you'll take advantage of both the subscription and that little bell but I'm just super happy to have you here today so thank you very much wonderful head to toe full body yoga flow to get you stretched out and hopefully feeling superb so that's my goal each and every time we get together whether it's specific body parts or just an overall flow today overall flow we find a seated position cross-legged if that's okay for you we're going to turn and face the palms to the sky draping the wrists over the knees closing the eyes and gently bring your index finger to touch your thumb nice big full deep breaths in and out through the nose feeling that length in the spine always working to promote good healthy strong tall posture Quieting the mind, settling into the breath, present and aware within the four corners of your mat. Let go of everything else, my friends. Let's turn and bring the palms to the shins just below the knees. Take a big breath in, press the chest forward, arch your back, lift your face towards the sky. And then exhale, hollow the tummy and chest, press your spine back, tuck your chin. Inhale, press it through, arch your back, gaze to the sky. Exhale and hollow. One more time, each direction. Arch your back, gaze to the sky. Exhale and hollow. Inhale, head up nice and tall. Release your hands down by your sides. Feel that length in the spine. Gently press those shoulders down and away. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, turn and take your gaze out towards that right shoulder and then a gentle tuck of your chin down towards that right collarbone. Inhale, lift your gaze. Turn it back to face front. And as you exhale, take that gaze out over that left shoulder. Little tuck of your chin down towards that left collarbone. Inhale, lift your gaze, turn it back to face front, and as you exhale, release that right ear towards your right shoulder. Face remains pointing forward. Nice long stretch down that left side. Inhale it up tall, and exhale, lean that head to the left. Close your eyes and get those big, full, deep breaths. Inhale, head up nice and tall. Exhale, chin towards the chest. Bring the hands behind your head. Interlace your fingers and just gently pull that chin down. Inhale, head up nice and tall. Extend those arms to the sky. Lengthen and hinge it forward. Release your hands. Relax the weight of your upper body down. So kind of depending upon where you are in your day, if it's the beginning of the day, haven't done a whole lot of moving around yet, you might notice that there's a whole lot of resistance going on in the lower back and through those hips. Just show yourself some grace. Give yourself a little bit of time. Get those full big breaths and let yourself just sink. Now, if you've been up and moving around, maybe we've had a chance to let go of that tension and that tightness in that lower back already. That's a beautiful thing. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk the hands forward just a bit, and then release the weight of the upper body back down. Now notice if that tailbone has lifted off the mat and gently press it back towards the earth. Inhale, circle the hands back by your hips, big circle of those arms up and overhead. Exhale and release that right hand to the mat, left arm up and over. Keeping that left sit bone pressing to the earth, press through that right palm, lift the left side of the rib cage. Ah, spacing those ribs. Beautiful stretch down that left side. As you exhale, release the tummy and chest to your thigh, reach it out through the fingertips, relax the weight of your head. Inhale, lift just slightly, roll it back open. 
Mmm, so good. Inhale, reach to the sky. Both arms come up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up and over. Stay on the palm of that hand. Lean into it as big as you can make it and then give a little push with that left hand against the earth. Lifting that right side of the rib cage. Space between those ribs. Stretching those intercostal muscles. And as you exhale, releasing the tummy and chest to your thigh. Oh, let your head be heavy. Breathe. Inhale, lift just slightly, roll that right arm back open and rise. Both arms reach to the sky. Release those arms down by your sides. Let's turn and come up onto all fours to a tabletop position. Hands are shoulder width apart, knees are hip width, core is nice and strong. We're gonna inhale and extend left arm and right leg, lengthening and reaching through the fingertips, through the toes, lifting out of that right shoulder, square those hips. As you flex that right foot, bend that right knee, draw your heel towards your bottom. Do about a 90 degree bend. Now lift that foot to the sky without arching the back. Strong through that belly. Lengthen through those left fingertips, extending right leg, and slowly release it down. Center your weight. Other side, inhale it up. Lengthen and reach to the fingertips. Square those hips. Reach through those toes. Lift out of that left shoulder. Add a flex of that left foot, and as you exhale, bend that left knee, draw your heel in towards your bottom to create that, about that 90 degree bend with your leg. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It's not a perfect world. And then as you exhale, lift the sole of the foot towards the sky, really engaging those glutes and those hamstrings, being mindful not too much arch in that back, extending that left leg, and release it down. Shifting your weight to your right hand. Left arm extends to the sky. And as you exhale, left hand sweeps through, shoulder to the mat, side of the head to the mat. Rotate your body. Right arm extends to the sky. Reach it up. Just as high as you can reach. Rotating that right palm towards the front. Reach it up and over. Arm right along the side of the face. Close your eyes and breathe. Letting go of tension, tightness, just finding those big, full, deep breaths. Inhale, lift that right arm to the sky. Slowly release your hand down, pressing it back up to tabletop, centering your weight. And we shift our weight to that left hand. Right arm extends to the sky, reach it up. And as you exhale, sweep it through. Right shoulder to the mat, side of the head to the mat. Rotate your body, reach your left arm to the sky high as you can reach. Stack those shoulders. Lengthen out of that left shoulder up to the tips of your fingers, rotating that left palm towards the front. Reach it up and over. Arm right along the side of the face. Inhale, lift that left arm to the sky and slowly release your hand down, pressing it back up to tabletop, center your weight and sit it back to child's pose. Extend those arms out nice and long, hips back towards your heels, forehead towards the mat. Nice big deep breaths, guys. A drink as you need one, a break as your body needs one. Child's was always a great place to come back to. As you're ready, extend those arms out nice and long. Hands, shoulder width apart, spread your fingers wide. Let's place the forearms to the mat. Lift your forehead, bring the palms to touch. Spread your fingers wide. Elbows just shoulder width apart. We tuck our toes, lift your hips to the sky. Up to dolphin. Breathe, those pinkies just resting along the mat. Heels working towards the mat, feeling that really nice stretch down the backs of the legs. Big, full, deep breaths. We take a giant step back with one foot and then the other, leveling out into dolphin plank. Shoulders right over those fingertips. You're welcome to come down onto your knees if you like, untucking those toes or remain on the balls of the feet. Breathe, just slow, steady breaths. Draw that belly button in and up. 
working to make a nice long line lifting out of those shoulders and breathe if you start to sink in those shoulders lift one more good breath in and as you exhale lift your hips walk those feet back in to dolphin allow your heels to sink allow your head to be heavy soften that face relax your jaw as you exhale bring your knees to the mat walk those hands back underneath you toes remain tucked under wrists right below those shoulders lift your knees just an inch off the mat we're going to take one step forward left hand right foot and step it back to that hovering tabletop right hand left foot and back to that hovering tabletop again left hand right foot back to that hovering tabletop right hand left foot back to that hovering tabletop hold here and as you exhale extend the legs shift your weight back towards your heels a little bit of a shorter downward facing dog find that breath take the gaze between your hands walk your feet in to forward fold and just relax the weight of the upper body down soft bend in your knees let's shift some weight forward into the toes and then back to the heels into those toes and back to those heels one more time into the toes and back to those heels let's center the weight let those arms be heavy and slowly roll it up one vertebra at a time mindfully stacking each vertebra realigning those vertebra that spine to stand tall big shoulder roll up and back shoulders slide down and away do that again big shoulder roll up and back shoulders slide down and away turn your palms to the front tummies are tight glutes are tight engage those quads inhale reach to the sky exhale swan dive to forward fold inhale up to monkey half lift exhale down take a giant step back with your left foot back knee to the mat if you like circle the arms back and overhead to crescent lunge if you're more comfortable back knee to the mat top of the foot to the mat let those hips be heavy if you prefer knee stays off and we sink into that lunge pressing through that back heel let's circle that left arm forward right arm back don't overthink it just do it and up and overhead right arm forward left arm back don't overthink it just do it bring the palms to touch interlace the fingers all but the index finger and thumb lengthen and as you exhale lean to the right breathe beautiful long stretch down that left side inhale it back up and as you exhale lean to the left find that breath find that focal point inhaling it back up circle the arms to the back release your hands on either side of your foot lift your hips sweep it back and extend right leg to the sky and gently release it down to down dog holding your down dog or inhale it to high plank toes or knees one push up lift your hips to down dog gently sway your hips side to side big full deep breaths just let that sway happen as it's ready not forcing things just letting it be as little or as big as it wants to be and we come back to center taking a gaze between your hands walk step or hop to forward fold bending those knees just as much as you need to, to let your hands come to the mat we center that left hand out in front of us palm pressing firmly into the mat we rotate our body and extend right arm to the sky reach it up lengthen and extend out of the shoulder to the tips of your fingers now noticing do you have a tendency to lean over onto that left foot center your weight caught myself doing the same thing slowly release that right hand down center your weight rotate and extend left arm to the sky center that weight between your feet are you shifting over to that right foot more than the left even it out now lengthen and reach through those left fingertips slowly bringing your hands to the mat relax the weight of the upper body inhale up to monkey half lift 
Exhale down. Inhale, reverse swan dive up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm high, lean in and reach. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, other side, lean in and reach. Mindful movements, my friends. Inhale it up, nice and tall. Interlace your fingers, pull your hands behind your head, elbows wide. And as you exhale, draw the chin towards the chest, close the elbows around your ears. And breathe. Inhale, lift the head, open those elbows wide. Extend the arms to the sky. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale, down, giant step back with that right foot. Back knee down if you like. Circle the arms up and overhead to our crescent lunge. And again, if you want to bring that back knee down, make it happen. Untuck those toes. Let your hips be heavy. You want to keep that knee off. Press through that back heel. Should feel this incredible stretch, guys, through the front of that right leg. We circle that left arm forward and the right arm back. Just one big circle. Don't overthink it. Just let your body do it. When we overthink, we get ourselves in trouble. Right arm forward, left arm back. Breathe. Find that breath. Slow it down. Bring the palms to touch. Interlace the fingers all but the index finger and thumb. And gently lean to the left. Breathe. Feel that amazing stretch on that right side. Inhale it back up. And as you exhale, lean to the right. Breathe. Inhale it back to center. Release the hands, circle the arms to the back. One hand on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back. And extend left leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. Holding your down dog, grabbing a drink of water. Or inhale it to high plank. Two push-ups, toes or knees, slow and steady. Lift your hips to down dog. Shifting your weight to your left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot to the outside of the right hand. Toes are off of your mat, heel is on. Draw that left foot in across from the right. Toes are turned off. Heel is on and relax the weight of the upper body down. Find that breath. So the width of our stance, about the width of our mat. Toes slightly turned out. Bring the hands to the outsides of the ankles and use the strength of your arms to pull that upper body in. Now it's still fairly early within our class. So give yourself some grace. Don't pull too far, too fast. Just checking in. Mindfully aware. We release those arms. And ever so slowly shift your weight to your heels and begin to bend those knees. Lowering down to frog pose. Nice flat back. Knees open out wide. And we start to get into those hips. And I just want you to sway side to side. So keeping that nice flat back. Now if this is a little too deep for you. Just lift your bum a little bit and you can still sway side to side. So we're mindful of those knees and we're taking care. Find that breath, just sway side to side. What do you notice? What do you feel? Now, if it feels right to you, I want you to lift those hands and pull them to heart center. Engaging those core muscles. Did we let our bottom drop? Bring it back up, level it out. Come to center, release the hands and extend those legs. Find your breath. Inhale up just enough to extend those arms. Step that right foot back. And then the left to down dog. And inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees. Holding your plank or three push-ups. Elbows right by the ribs. So oftentimes in yoga, there's a whole lot of lower body strength. But not a lot of upper. Lift your hips to down dog. Gently alternate dip, bending knees, walk it out. So different activities that we do, or if we're sedentary, my friends, really taking care, not overdoing. 
if we do a lot of repetitive work, we want to make sure that we balance it out and get that whole body stretching out, twerking out tension and tightness, over activation of muscles, quieting down those joints and those areas in our bodies that get overused. Inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs. Reach your sit bones high. And as you exhale, let your heels sink, shifting your weight to your right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot to the outside of that left hand. Toes are turned off. Heel is on. We draw that right foot in across from the left. Once again, we come to our frog pose, shifting those hands right underneath those shoulders. Nice flat back. Draw those shoulders back and away. So we want to be mindful if we're rounding over. I want you guys to really activate through that upper and middle back, almost squeezing those shoulder blades. Now just checking in. Can we tell where that bum is? Is it in line with the knees? That's ideally where we want to be. If the knees are not up for that, it's a little bit higher. We don't want to drop the bum just yet. Find that breath. Slow, steady breaths. Now we're going to heel toe those feet in. So a little shift of your weight into those hands. Heel toe your feet in once. So now we've narrowed the stance, but those toes are still out. And we're going to slowly lower the bum a little bit more. Ah, a little different kind of frog pose. Knees are open. Little room for the hips. Now can we lift those arms? It's a different sensation, so listen to your body. Making sure those knees are happy, hips are happy. Release your hands and slowly extend those legs. Toes are still turned out, narrower stance, more intense hamstring stretch as that upper body comes down. Now rock back to your heels and close those toes so the feet are parallel. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk, step, or hop to high plank, holding your plank. Come into child's pose, grabbing a drink of water or four push ups. Slow and steady. Elbows right by the rib cage. Should feel the insides of your biceps. Brush against the rib cage. One more if it's in there, guys. Lift your hips to down dog. Find that breath. Shift your weight to your left hand. Right hand reaching across to the outside of that left leg. Take a hold anywhere along the leg you like. And turn and take your gaze on underneath that left arm. Breathe. Releasing that right hand, gazing back between the feet. Shifting your weight to your right hand, left hand reaching across, taking hold anywhere along the outside of that right leg. And slowly turn and take your gaze out underneath that right arm. Close your eyes if you like. Put a smile on your face. Amazing what this body can do. Celebrate where you are in your practice. Gently releasing that left hand, gazing between your feet. Take the gaze between your hands and walk it in to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, slowly bend those knees. Weight remains in the heels. And we're gonna come down as low as we can come. So depending upon your body, what's going on with you today, can we keep those heels down? Extend those arms out in front. And now let's slowly shift our weight forward to come up to the balls of the feet. Lifting the chest nice and tall. Working to level out those quadriceps to a nice flat little line. Breathe. And if you like, lift the arms. Find that breath. Do you have a tendency to go to one foot versus the other? Can you feel all of those little muscles working hard? Pulling the hands to heart center, stay high on the balls of the feet, find a focal point and slowly begin to lift. Take your time. Extending the arms, extending the legs, reaching as high as you can reach. Stay high on the balls of the feet, slowly lower those arms down by your sides and gently release the heels back down. Shift your weight to your heels. Nice job. Roll those shoulders up and back to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. 
Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale, down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. Releasing that left knee to the mat if you like, otherwise legs stay long. We rotate and extend, right arm to the sky. Reach it up, high as you can reach. Find that breath. Our feet can be staggered. Our feet can be stacked. Reaching out, rotating that right palm. Reach it up and over. Lifting, lengthening, reaching as far as you can reach. And if you like, lift that top leg. Flex your foot. Breathe. Bending that right knee, reaching down, taking a hold along the outside edge of your foot or taking a hold of that big toe and extend your leg a little or a lot. Find that breath. Slow it down. Slowly releasing. Back to side plank and then slowly release it down. Lift those hips to down dog. Nice work. Alternate bending knees, walk it out. Big, full, deep breaths. As you exhale, let both heels sink. And we inhale it to high plank, taking it to the other side. Right knee comes down, or those legs stay long. We rotate and extend. Left arm to the sky. Feet can be staggered or stacked. Reaching out through those fingertips. Find that breath. Rotating that left palm towards the front, reach it up and over, lift those hips, feel that stretch down that left side. And if you like, lift that top leg, flex your foot. We bend that left knee, reaching down with that left hand. Can you find the outside edge of your foot, outside edge of your leg or big toe? And extend the leg. Breathe. Keep lifting through those hips, lifting out of that shoulder. Slowly releasing, back to side plank, and slowly coming back to plank. Lift those hips. Whoo, good gravy. Those are difficult, challenging, fun, all of the above. Big deep breaths in our down dog. The end of your exhale, take the gaze between your hands. Walk, step, or hop to forward fold. Bending those knees as much as you need to to bring those hands to the mat. Let's lift that right foot, sliding your right hand on, underneath the foot, palm of the hand, and the sole of the foot come to touch. Left foot lifts, left hand slides under, and gently place the sole of the foot against the palm of your hand. Relax the weight of your head. Just let yourself hang forward. Now lengthen through the crown of the head and slowly begin to lift that upper body. Arms are gonna extend. We press through the balls of the feet and those toes against the palm of the hand. A little shift of your weight forward. Gorilla pose. Nice little stretch for those wrists as they just work really hard in those side planks. Slowly releasing the upper body back down, shifting your weight to your heels. Lift your right foot to release your right hand. Lift your left foot to release your left hand. Hanging in forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse one dive up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm high, lean in and reach. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, other side, lean in and reach. Inhale, both arms come up. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale, down, walk, step or hop to high plank. Toes or knees, hold your plank. Or yes, we are now at five. Five push-ups, slow and steady. If it's one and not five, it is absolutely fine, you guys. If it's holding plank, if it's coming to child's pose, it's about taking care of yourself, right? Lift those hips to down dog. Bending the right knee, left heel presses towards the mat. Just a beautiful long stretch on the back of that left leg. Switching sides, left knee bends, right heel down. Breathe. Exhale, release both heels. Shifting your weight to your left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through. Back heel to the mat. Windmill those arms up. 
to warrior two, hips, chest, and shoulders open to the side. Gaze out over your front middle finger. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little. And then exhale, sink. Right elbow, right knee, left arm circles up and over, extended side angle, long diagonal line, all the way down that left side. Gazing along the inside of that left arm. We circle that left arm around behind the back, forearm along the small of the back, right hand reaching in front and through. Can you find your fingertips? Lock them if you can find them. Working to roll that left shoulder back. Turn your gaze towards the sky. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, begin to straighten that right leg a little or a lot. Breathe. Slowly turn your gaze down towards that right big toe. And then slowly tuck your chin towards that right shoulder blade or right shoulder. We bend that right knee, sinking back to our bound angle. Releasing the arms, back of that right arm along the inside of that right leg. Left arm st extends to the sky. Turn your gaze to the sky. And let's rise. Back to warrior two. Straightening your front leg. Back arm onto the back leg. Front palm to the sky. Sweep it up and back. Reverse triangle. Reaching out to those right fingertips. Lengthening down that back leg with the left. Find your breath. And let's inhale it back up. Arms open out to a T. Hips, chest, and shoulders open to the side. Reach it out over those right toes. When you can't reach anymore, right arm down, left arm high. Extend and lengthen out of the shoulder. Find that breath. Slow it down. As you exhale, slowly release that left hand down. Place your hand along the inside of your foot. Adjust those feet if you need to. Rotate your body. Right arm to the sky. Reach it up. Beautiful stretch through that outer hip, down the backs of the legs, through the spine, out of the shoulder and up to the tips of the fingers. Revolved triangle. Rotate that right palm towards the front. Reach it up and over as you turn your gaze down towards your right big toe. Reach out, find that breath. Inhale, lift to the sky, gaze to the sky. And as you exhale, release that right hand down, one hand on either side of the foot, front knee bends, back heel comes off the mat. Runner's lunge. Let's shift both hands to the inside of the foot. At any point, you're welcome to bring that back knee to the mat or keep the leg long, whatever works. Feels right to you, come down onto your left forearm or the right forearm. Now there's a lot of playroom here. You do not have to come all the way down to the forearm. You can just bend those elbows a little bit. So starting to sink, you don't have to be all the way up or all the way down. There's a lot of wiggle room there to play. You find what feels right. Let's come back up to the palms of the hands. And we're going to heel toe that right foot out to the outside edge of your mat. Toes are off, heel is on, and we're going to center our hands underneath us, drawing that back foot in. Now we're going to come to garland pose or back to that frog pose. If we come to garland pose, making sure that those hips are happy and ready to be here. Knees are happy and ready to be here. Elbows along the insides of the knees and just gently pressing palms of the hands together, shoulders drawn back and away. It's as though there were a back against your wall and you're working to get your whole back, not just your bum, but your whole back up against that wall. Breathe. Find that breath. Release the hands and slowly extend those legs. Cross that right hand to your left ankle, left hand to your right ankle, and use the strength of the arms to pull that upper body in. Breathe. Releasing the intensity, take that right hand, bring it in front and cross back over to that left ankle. Use the strength of those arms to pull it in. And just notice the different stretch with the arms in a different position. Do you prefer one over the other? Lifting just slightly to release those arms, hands placed on either side, just below the head. Let's bend those knees back to frog.
Stepping that right foot back. And then the left to plank. Holding your plank, toes or knees. Child's pose, drink of water. Or you guessed it, let's go six. Slow and steady. Taking your time. Your range of motion is your range of motion. So make it work for you where you're challenged, but you're being respectful of your body. One more if it's in there. Lift your hips to down dog. Breathe. Shifting your weight to your right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through. Back heel to the mat, windmill those arms up to warrior two, hips, chest and shoulders open to the side. Gaze out over your front middle finger, shoulders are soft and away from those ears. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little and then exhale, sink. Left elbow, left knee, right arm circles up and over. Reach out and lengthen through the fingertips. Gaze along the inside of that right arm. Breathe. Circling that right arm around behind your back. Forearm along the small of the back. Left hand reaching in front and through. Can you find your fingertips? Lock them if you can find them. And then work to roll that right shoulder back. Turn your gaze towards the sky. Bound angle. Find your breath. Challenge yourself, but again, always being kind and full of grace. Okay, show yourself some grace. Slowly begin to extend that left leg a little or a lot and turn your gaze down towards that left big toe. Challenging your balance, flexibility, strength. Breathe. And once again, bending that left knee Releasing that bind, back of the left arm along the inside of that left leg, right arm up and over. And we rise back to warrior two. Straightening your front leg, back arm onto the back leg, front palm to the sky, sweep it up and back. Reverse triangle. Right hand sliding down that back leg, left fingertips reaching. Close your eyes if you're able. And let's inhale it back up. Arms open out to a T. Hips, chest, and shoulders open to the side. Reach it out over those left toes. When you can't reach anymore, left arm down, right arm high. Extend out of the shoulder up to the tips of the fingers. Triangle. Should feel this amazing stretch through the side body on that right side. Through the inside of that left leg, extend through those fingertips. As you exhale, slowly release that right hand down. Place your hand along the inside of that left foot. Adjust your feet if you need to. Rotate your body. Left arm to the sky. Reach it up. High as you can reach. Extend out of that shoulder. Up to the tips of the fingers. Rotating that left palm. Reach it up and over. Turn your gaze down towards that left big toe. Breathe. Lifting out of that right shoulder. Lengthening through the left fingertips. Inhale, lift the arm, lift your gaze. Back to revolve triangle. And exhale, slowly release that left hand down. One hand on either side of your foot, front knee bends. Back heel comes off the mat to your runner's lunge. So again, at any point, you are welcome to bring that back knee to the mat and untuck those toes. Feels good to you to keep it off? Keep it off. Let's shift both hands to the inside of the foot. Working our way down to lizard pose, guys. So again, lots of play room here. We can bend the elbows a little bit, or you're welcome to come down onto that right forearm. Left forearm, if you like. Breathe, slow, steady breaths. And we come back to the palms of the hands. We're gonna heel toe that left foot out to the outside edge of your mat. Toes are off, heel is on, center those hands underneath you. Core is engaged, and we're going to draw that right foot in across from the left. Back to our frog pose, supporting with those hands as much as you need, or lowering that bum, lifting the chest, and pulling those hands to garland. Lifting through the crown of the head, drawing those shoulders down and away. A gentle press of the palms together to work to make that horizontal line 
from elbow to elbow. Now noticing where your weight is in your feet, we have this tendency to kind of roll forward and that outer edge of your foot lifting. I want you to press it back down, open those knees as best you can. Now doing the best you can to lead through the crown of the head, keeping that bum from lifting first, let's rise. Press through those heels, slow and steady. This is challenging. Indeed it is. The weight of the body working against gravity. We extend those arms. Extend those arms out to a nice wide V as you gaze to the sky. Oh, beautiful stretch to the belly and through the chest. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, we sink. Tailbone straight towards the earth. Find that breath. Slow, steady. Now, I don't know if you noticed that crack in both of my knees. It happens, you guys. I am snap, crackle, poppy. As long as there's no pain, that's what matters. It's just your body adjusting. Release your hands, lift your bum. Step that left foot back. And then the right. Okay, you guys, last big challenge here. Holding your plank. If you need a break, take a break. Otherwise, let's go seven. Slow and steady. Listening to your body, coming down onto those knees or shortening your range of motion if you need to. Use that breath to guide you, those exhales, helping on those big work parts of the, of the move. Breathe. Last two. Last one. Lift those hips. Nice job to down dog. Breathe. Find that breath. Let's inhale up to the balls of the feet, hollowing the tummy, hollowing the chest, slowly leveling out into plank. Now exhale, chin towards the chest, hollow the chest, lift your spine, lift those hips, hollow the tummy, and slowly release those heels back down. Find your breath. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk, step, or hop to forward fold. Crossing that right foot behind the left. Being mindful of those knees, my friends. We're going to slowly open those knees, lowering the bum, and we're going to come all the way down to our bottom, sitting cross-legged. Sit up nice and tall. Reach to the sky. As you exhale, circle the arms around behind your back. Fingertips point toward your bottom. Lean back onto those hands. So maybe we stay right here, lifting the chest and arching the back, drawing those shoulder blades towards one another. If it feels right to you, release that intensity, lowering the chest. Now press through the palms of the hands and lift those hips. Now rolling those shoulders back. Breathe. So we can either have that bum lifted or we can keep your bum down. Breathe. And slowly release it back down. Big circle of those arms overhead. We lengthen and reach, hinging forward. Release your hands. Relax the weight of your head. And just check in. So when we came here a short time ago, maybe you felt some different intensity, different resistance. Hopefully, it has changed for the better. Always want to make it for the better, my friends. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Release your hands to shoulder height. Now, this is going to be very different. So if you prefer, extend those legs out nice and long. Otherwise, we're going to hollow the tummy and chest, and we're going to lower down. Now, we don't have that leverage with those legs long to help us lower as slow as we want. And we keep those legs crossed and just relax. How challenging was that for you if you were like, oh, piece of cake? Awesome. Celebrate that. Let's slowly bring the soles of the feet to the mat, hip width apart, knees pointed towards the sky. Hands come down by your sides. Press the small of the back into the mat, a little bit of a pelvic tilt, and then slowly press through your heels. Lift your hips towards the sky. Peel your spine off of the mat, one vertebra at a time. Up to bridge pose. Breathe. Slow, steady breaths. And then slowly, slowly release it back down one vertebra at a time till your bottom is the very last 
to touch. Now cross that right foot up and over the left knee. Now slowly, be mindful. This is a little more challenging, so it's a single leg bridge. Add that pelvic tilt, squeeze your bum, engage the core, and slowly rise. All the way back up. That knee opened out to that figure four. If this is not great, guys, just come back down and keep both feet back on the mat and just come to your bridge pose. And slowly releasing it down. As your bottom is the last to touch, release that right foot right in line with your hip. Left foot crosses up above that right knee, pressing that knee out, uh, left knee out and away. Pelvic tilt. Press through your right heel and begin to lift. Peeling that spine off of the mat one vertebra at a time. Up to that one-legged bridge. Breathe. And slowly lowering it back down. Drawing that left knee in towards your chest and then the right. Hands to your shins just below those knees. Pull it in nice and tight. Gently rock side to side. And we come back to center, keeping that right knee tucked in, extend your left leg out and down. Right arm extends out to a T, left hand to the outside of the right knee and gently pull your leg across your body. Keep both shoulders on the mat just as best you can. Turn and take your gaze out over that right arm. Close your eyes. And just take a moment to reflect on all of the hard work you have just put in to your well-being physical, emotional, and mental well-being. So hopefully able to keep a sense of humor, guys. There are those days where we really need it, when things just aren't going our way. If you can laugh, out of, uh, laugh about it, uh, it makes all the difference in the world. Laughter helps make everything better. Release that left hand and roll it back to center. There are those days when tears help too, so it's all right with that too. Just don't let those emotions drive you every day. Rotate and slowly lower the leg down. And allow it to come to rest. Left knee comes in, left arm extends out to a T, right hand to the outside of the left knee and gently pull that leg across. This is one of the best places to help realign emotions, intentions, attitudes. Turn and take your gaze out over that left arm and just close your eyes. I tell you guys, if I'm having just a ugh day, whether it be I'm tired or things are just really frustrating, if something happened and I'm feeling way out of sorts, you guys, this and a little bit of time on my mat to just breathe but particularly this pose, it just is incredible to me, the power within this pose to ring out negative energy and just kind of have it as a reset button. I hope it works that way for you too, but it's pretty powerful. And I've heard that from a ton of different people. So hopefully you can put that in your little bag of tricks to help reset. Slowly rolling it back to center. Extending that left leg to the sky, point your toes, lengthen that leg, little external rotation through that hip, and then slowly lower it down. And allow it to come to rest. We draw the soles of the feet together, knees open out nice and wide, draw your heels up towards your bum, rest your hands on your hips or on your tummy. And just relax, close your eyes. Breathe. Slow your breath. Now from here, if you are comfortable, please feel welcome to stay here. If you are not so comfortable, adjust however you would like to adjust, whether that be extending your legs, coming to corpse pose, adjusting your hands. Maybe you're more comfortable on your side with those knees drawn in, perhaps on your tummy or even up into a seated position. I invite you to find the place where you feel your very best, where your body feels relaxed, 
you feel safe to just be. Close your eyes and focus on that breath. Slow, steady, deep breaths. We give ourselves permission to just gently step away from our physical being. To a space within our mind's eye where everything is right. I invite you to take a moment to visualize an image of someone's face that you just adore. That without them in your life, it would just really, you'd miss them terribly. And I want you to image the image of this person with a big smile on their face. Can you feel that joy? Can you feel that happiness? Take in all the details of this beautiful soul and either silently or quietly full of gratitude and love share with them how much they mean to your life. doesn't have to be long, just a few, a few words, a sentence, something simple but meaningful. And just slowly, gently, that image begins to blur. And where that image of that beautiful face once was is now a color, a light. And I want you to notice what color that light is. I want you to feel the energy within that light. Is it warm or is it cool? This light helps to heal, to mend, to strengthen, to quiet, to calm. Staying connected with that light, begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And slowly that light begins to blur, still there. And we bring our awareness back to our physical being, to the floor beneath us, to the movement of the air around us. We stretch our limbs, and as you're ready, gently drawing your knees in towards your chest, rolling to one side. And using the strength of those arms, we come back up to a seated position that feels right to you. Resting the hands comfortably, close your eyes, take big, deep breaths. We take a moment to thank our minds and our bodies for this amazing journey. Recognizing the amazing abilities in this beautiful body that we have with us on this journey. We do our best to take care of it, to challenge it, to be kind to it. Let's gently open the eyes, take a big breath in, reach to the sky, and exhale, pull the hands to heart center. I can't thank you enough for joining me today. Each and every day you come back means the world to me, you guys. This is, this is what I wanna do. This is what I love to do, is share my love of fitness, of wellness, of yoga, and just being a part of your life. So thank you. Be well, take care, and until the next time, namaste.